Happy New Year! We are in 2017. I hope you guys are excited for what's in store for this year and that you have great plans and hopes and aspiration for 2017 and I wish you all the best of luck because it's a new year so we forget about anything negative, anything bad that has happened in the last year and we just move on because that's what we do as human beings. We move forward because if we stay in the last year we're going to be stuck and stagnated and I don't want that for myself and I don't want that for you so go out there and find something that makes you happy and you enjoy and build on it for 2017. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my goals for this year for sewing. I've been sewing for quite a few years and I'm not a professional. I don't have really crazy awesome mad skills. I just like to sew and I've continued to grow over the last year really good and I love it and this year is no different. I have really big plans and I hope to achieve these goals. So most of you probably all have set resolutions for 2017. I am not a resolution girl at all because I fail really hard in that department. I'm a goal setting queen. So I'm setting goals for myself for this year. I have four goals. I have a blog post already up. You can check the description box for a link to that blog post. Now my first goal, I say it first but it really doesn't have to be first. It's just something by the end of the year I want to achieve. So the first thing I have on my list here is proper fitting a technique. I really want to learn the, the anatomy of a garment and how it's formed and learn this because if you know how it how it's developed then you know how to make changes and that's something I would like to do in this coming year. I have two classes from Craftsy that I have picked. The first one is Fitting Solo with Linda Lee and so the perfect fit by Linda Menard on the Craftsy platform. These are two courses that I've seen. I've read some of the responses to it and I think um, this is probably where I best fit in and it would make a good start for me. So that is uh, one of the goals. The second goal is I have an addiction to how awesome well pockets look and I have succeeded with my coat well pocket. Um, and it looks really good. There are some things I definitely need working on but I really want to learn more diff I want to learn more styles like how can I make different shapes in these wealth pockets and bring it to a state of perfection for me because it's an intimidating task. It's quite scary because you don't know what's going to happen when you slice that line in the middle and you have to flip your fabric in to create the weld. So it's a scary process and I want to be comfortable in it. My coat pocket looks good but it definitely needs work. The next, and this one is super cool, I really like this one. The next goal, and I think this goal is just like crazy, I'm not sure what I'm thinking about, why I'm doing this, but it's such a great challenge. I would like to complete a style icon dress for 2017. Now we all have those celebrities that were like oh my gosh I like this person I love their style I love how they dress I want to be sort of like them and that's all great I am confident in who I am and myself but I do like certain style and my style jumps all over the place it can go from retro to edgy to <laughs> matronly I mean I it just depends on my mood not everything I, I'm, I cannot be placed in a category when it comes to style. It just depends on my mood and how, how I feel about a certain piece and how I can make it look good. So I am all over the spectrum when it comes to style. But I do like... 
I, I do like vintage style a lot. I like I like that era where women were super feminine and they were glamorous and they were just, you know, they were full and excited to be who they were and they were not afraid. So I'm going to make a style icon dress and I have a few amazing dresses on my blog post so you guys can take a look at that. But the two or three people that I've been thinking about are... Uh, Tessa Von Tess, she is just amazing for the modern day that we live. Her style is amazing because she not only wears it on the red carpet, but she wears it in her daily life. So that's pretty cool because not a lot of people do that all through their days. Like, I haven't seen a photo with her in a denim jeans yet. I've seen her in pedal pushes, I've seen her in leggings for workout, but I've never seen her in like denim. So that's interesting, but I've always seen her in so many beautiful dresses. So I will leave some images um, in the right hand corner of the screen so you guys can see some of the images. I also love Arita Hayward. I love the movies, I love the flowy dresses. She is um, an icon and it's, it's just beautiful people from the inside out and their style reflects who they are and I love that. So that is what I would like to achieve. And another one is Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly is amazing. I remember growing up and my mom was talking about Oh, how awesome she thought that Grace Kelly was. She was such um, a beautiful person. She was just poised, just just totally all a woman. And I just, I love that. I want to have those things infused in me. Also, Lena Horn, Dorothy Dundridge. These women from back in the day were amazing. Their dresses were fantastic. And again, I will leave some images for you guys to see their their dresses that they wore. It was beautiful. It was a wonderful time for couture dressing back from the 60s go back I felt had amazing dresses I love them and those are some of the things that I would like to do so watch out for a style icon dress from from me sometime during this year I have a lot going on in the first quarter so I'm not exactly sure when I'll try one of these but that's one of the goals the next goal I have is draping I would like to learn draping what is draping how is it done how do you put it on to a foundation piece and make a fabulous gown draping is amazing because it's not something that is structured you don't get a pattern and you know oh I'm going to do this and I'm going to cut out this piece and I'm going to fold here I'm going to pleat here I'm going to pin tuck here there isn't any of that to my knowledge right now because it's really low in terms of draping but there isn't anything for that you just take the fabric and you place it on your form and you just flow with what you feel like and that is exciting and scary at the same time but I think it really allows you to escape from the the square that we're mostly afraid of coming out of and you know having ourselves truly come out in our creations so that is one of the most exciting things I want to do for 2017 it's also one of the most scary things because when you're not sure what you're dealing with and you cut into a fabric huh, your life got slashed that's usually how it goes huh. okay and I also have a few images of some wonderful drape dresses. So the list isn't huge. I have four goals and I think that is attainable for the year because if I split it into quarters, I could probably try to start working on each of them in a quarter and see where I'm at. 
by the end of 2017 I'll give you guys a recap on my journey in terms of what I've learned what I've done and if I've completed any of these so just for a recap the goals are perfect pattern fitting techniques mastering my welt pocket making a style icon dress and learn the skill of draping so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have a wonderful new year and i will see you in my next upload bye